Nu ska du få möta Wolfmother, Motley Crue, Kaiser Chiefs och Nirvana eller trommeslagarna då. Och då må man gärna tänka sig lite om vem är er det som har trommeslagare igen? Mytene om trommisna är er många. Nu är er Dave Grohl, trommis från Nirvana och Queens of the Stone Age är er fullständigt klar över. I'm a dumb drummer. Like I did because I never learned how to read music or anything, so I just use my ear. That's the usual uh, assumption of a drummer, isn't it? What's the usual? That they're stupid. Yeah. yeah it's usually true. <laughs> um, How's that for the drummer special? <laughs> I've heard people say, right, in sound checks, this is years ago. All right, it's time for the drummer. Someone says, right, can the drummer come up? And they go, and someone said beside me, oh yeah, it's time for the untalented one. I almost tore him apart. I guess they're kind of portrayed as. Uh, Kind of the dumb, kind of blockhead of the band. Står alltid när du spelar listan eller liksom papirarbete. Spännande kommer av det drogaste. Anders Möller är er trommeslager för Euroboys. Han har spelat trommer och inte minst perkussion för en haug med band. Från Turboneger och Serena Manesh till Paperboys. Vi tar med Anders för att möta en annan stor norsk trommis, Martin Hornsvett. Han spelar också för en rekke artister, men kanske mest känd med Jaga ja sist. Och National Bank. Nu har Martin Hornsvett skaffat sig trommesett som det viskes om i trommemiljøet. Dette er mitt siste nå. Det her er kult da. Det må jeg si, det må jeg virkelig si. Det er liksom det dobbel, dobbel det sett. Nei, det er et enormt stort Ludvig-sett fra midten av 70-tallet som jeg har kjøpt her der. Dette fant jeg på Furesett. Så tog jeg bussen til Kongsvinger for å finne de. Og resten har jeg fått fra Florida. Er det sånn, vis meg ditt trommesett og jeg skal si deg hvem det er? Ja, da, da ser du ikke hvem jeg er her. Det gjør du ikke. Nei, gjør ikke det? Nei. Hvorfor ikke? Nei, jeg er ikke så. Det ser ut som jeg skal erobre verden og er stormannens gal. Og... Det er jo deilig deg, det er. Jeg ikke, for meg så driter jeg det. Jeg kan gå ut og brekke og kviste for greiene når jeg spiller. Det er bare så lenge det er et eller annet. Ja, jeg skjønner. Hva trommisene spiller med og på, kan være underordnet trangen til å spille. Sånn var det også for Dave Grohl, en av verdens mest kjente trommeslagere. Jeg hadde ikke et drumset, men jeg hadde noen drumsticks. Og jeg ville sette opp pillene i den formasjonen av et drumset, så at jeg hadde denne pillene her var en hi-hat, og denne pillene var en snare, og så var det to pillene der, og jeg ville lytte til og prøve å spille med det. Well, then usually if I went to go play on someone's drum set, I'd break everything because pillows are, you know, you could beat the shit out of a pillow and nothing really happens, but if you hit a snare drum too hard, you'll break it. So I was playing guitar in a band, I was like 13 or 14, playing guitar in a band and I'd wait for the drummer to go home and then I'd put my guitar down and I'd sit and practice on his drums for a while. Then I'd always break something. trying to start a band and Chris was always like oh you should play you know you should play bass or play play guitar or something because you should do that and, I, and I'd be like oh, I don't want to play guitar I want to play I don't want to play bass I want to play the drums and I remember like yeah he doesn't think I'm good enough so I was like whenever the drummer would leave the room I would jump on the drums because it's just the most fun it's the most fun thing to do Det er veldig korte og dritkul sånn 70-talls lyd på alt da. Det liker jeg jo. Ja, det er så langt ut for det jeg driver med. Jeg er der. Hva er forskjellen på lyden og det her og det som står her inne? Akkurat de tar jeg egentlig faktisk ganske like. Ganske like. Men det som er det tøffe med det settet her er at å ta av de som eller alltså skinna under då för då blir det ju inte någon sån resonans i det. Och då låter det jätte jätte kort. Tro 
trommelyden och hur de spelar kan vara väldigt olika. Men så har trommisarna visst nog också mycket till felles och sin tydliga plats i bandet. I don't know, I think all musicians there's there's a reason certain people gravitate towards certain instruments to me. I mean it's there's a certain sort of people that are guitar players and definitely I, I see it even more obviously I think in bass players, you know, man they seem to be like wild party guys or like guitar players maybe seem a little more disciplined or like more reserved in a way and more more ego centered in a lot of ways you know man because you know they seem more competitive where drummers seem more communal but i think it's like i said it's kind of the nature of the instrument that attracts people drumming has always been a communal instrument so it tends to bring people together rather than pushing people away you know När ett band spelar är er det sällan trommisen som är er den första man får öje på. Och inte alla trommeslagare syns det är lika rättfärdig. I'd go to see shows and I'd be in the drummer would do a drum solo and I'd look around. People are leaving to go get a beer or go buy a t-shirt or go smoke whatever, I don't know, you know. And I was like, God, that sucks. I think what's what's maybe not so interesting about a drum solo is you can't see everything he's doing. All this crazy work back there the feet are going the feet are going the hands are going the hands are going and all you see is just a blur so i wanted to take the drums on the drum riser and then tilt them up like this so you could see so it would be like having a top view so people could see what you're doing so then we came up with the spinning cage and then the flying one there's a disappearing one that blew up and um I wanted to take take my drums and mount them to a, a roller coaster and then get like put, take two like two uh, extra extra seats and put them on the back and run out into the audience and grab a couple fans put them in put the seat belts on and take them you know while we play and go for a ride go upside down and sort of loops and shit Jeg husker tilbake til uh, det spesielle av Nirvana, Nevermind kom da. Så uh, var det noen, også en av de første som lagde et uh, gitarriff på trommer. Mm. <laughs> det, det tror jeg nesten alle synes var kulere enn å spille selve gitarriffet. Det var å spille i trommene. På trekko, på trekko. I look at drummers as people that shouldn't necessarily be in the front of the band. It depends on what kind of music you're playing. But if you're playing, I like to, I like songs, you know, I like songs that people sing and dance to. And so some of my favorite drummers were drum, like disco drummers, you know, that just played the simplest beat. But then every once in a while they'd do something technical that kind of goes over everyone's head. Hvis, hvis uh, trommeslageren spiller en disco-rytme, så er det en disco-låt. Mm. Uh, hvis trommeslageren spiller en reggae-rytme, så er det en reggae-låt. Selv om, de andre, selv om låta i seg selv, eller selv om gitaren spiller noe helt annet, så kan trommene definere hele liksom, stilen på musikken. Da. Dette er rock. Dem der. Ja, det er Martin, får disco? Ja, disco Martin. Disco, 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 disco. Disco. Det er veldig bra. Jeg kunne spille på et annet sett, kjenner jeg, for det går ikke å spille. Men det var helt fantastisk med bakken. Det er sånn at jeg klarer å spille det regget. Det var regget. I mean, the idea is to kind of serve the song, is to sort of listen to the rhythm of how the guitar player is strumming, um, accenting vocals or accenting a certain part of the song, um, you know, having a sense of of feel, 
not just playing perfectly. Like I don't believe in drummers playing perfectly. I like it when they move up and down and and uh, do things that are kind of weird or fucked up. Det er ingen tvil om at trommer har en avgjørende rolle i musikken. Men likevel, trommis Nick Hodgson i Kaiser Chiefs kjemper fortsatt for anerkjennelse. Because I write the songs in our band as well, and I, and I play an instrument. And what's untalented about playing the drums? Dave Grohl says the drummer, and so does Joe, Joe Strummer. Joe Strummer says the drummer is the most important part of any band. You cannot, if you see a band and, you see, and, and the drummer's rubbish, it's just it's useless, it's rubbish. You don't want to watch them anymore. <laughs> Men trommelten Dave Grohl har også et mer avslappet forhold til trommeslagernes omdømme. Uh, there's a million drummer jokes. You, can you tell me one? Because I don't know them. Why do drummers put the, their drumsticks on the dashboard of their car? I don't know. So they could park in the handicapped spaces. <laughs> <laughs>